you joined Money Team, I assume, because you want to be a part of a circus like this. Here we are, uh, almost couple, or just a couple days from the fight. Is it all you've been uh, expecting? Um, yeah, you know, Floyd Mayweather is one of the greatest fighters ever. He's the, he's the world number one boxer now. So it's, it's amazing to be part of this event, to be opening up the pay-per-view for three um, world champs is a great responsibility what Leonard and Floyd have given me. You've got Ishe Smith, you've got Danny Garcia, and you've got Floyd Mayweather. So it's a great show. And I'm, you know, I'm representing the UK on the way at the, the world stage, so I'm very happy and happy. You know, there's many, there's many big name boxers who want to be part of, you know, the and Mayweather promotions, but you can't get on this. So I'm um, just a, a, a selected few. So being on the team is achievement in itself. Was there a certain time you said, man, it's, it's you were finally hit you? You know, you said, oh damn, I'm, you know, part of this, or you know, was there a, a moment when you realized that you'd arrive and you're part of the team? Um, you know what, like even. Even when I was here for the whole of the Robert Guerrero um, fight, it, like the camp, even that I wasn't officially part of the team, like everyone treated me as if I was part of the team. So it's like, like when I'm um, Leonard announced um, to like other boxers on August 1st that I was officially part of the team, it was nice because everyone was like, oh yeah, actually part of the team now. But I was always with them anyway. We train together, we go out together. So, um, you know, it's nice to be officially part of the team, but, um, you know, the guys, they always treated me as if I was part of it in, in any way. Right now, now, Cano's a tough fighter anyway, but do you feel maybe an extra sense of pressure being your first fight with the money team to, to show that they, they made a good investment with you? Um, you know what, I feel no pressure at all, because when I look at him, I believe that I've beaten better fighters already because I think that Delvin Rod, like, Rod, like Rodriguez is a better fighter um, than him. I know that Danny Garcia is a better fighter than him. I know if Danny and him fought that Danny would beat him. I know if Delvin fought him that he would beat him. And I'm not even sure if he would be um, beat the Demarcus Cordy of two of two of two thousand eight. So um like he's got a nice record as I've said, you know, it's twenty KOs and twenty six wins. But if you look at the KOs they're knocking out nobodies. That's not impressive. You know, to knock out nobodies is not impre impressive. He's given Shane Mosley, Eric Morales, and Pauli a hard, a hard fight. But that doesn't mean anything. That means you're a tough guy. You're a tough fighter. You know, so I expect him to. I don't expect no easy fight to walk in there. I expect a hard fight. But I've been in hard fights. So he's not bringing anything to the table that like none of these unboxers that I've got have boxed in the past have brought. You know, I'm very skeptical about the 20 KOs. Like, you know, I don't, I want to feel his power. I want to see how strong, like, strong he is. So, I'm going to go forward. I'm not going to try and run around there. Like, Shane, like, Shane took his power of yours. You're so, so strong. You would have got him out of there. You would have got Eric out of there. You would have got Paul, that like, Paul, yeah, out of there. But you didn't. So, you know, I'm, I'm great shape. I've been sparring with two world champs, Nishay Smith and Floyd, and Focus. Floyd has already said, just get part of this fight and I can get a big fight, be it a world title or a very big name. So I'm focused, I've got everything into training, I wait some point, I'm already on wait, ready a day before, so you know, I'm ready to go. Now speaking of Danny Garcia, we got him right down there answering some questions. You fought him not too long ago to a, to a, a split decision loss. Um, seeing him being involved in a big fight, like, like they said repeatedly, that fight could be a main event anywhere, him and Lucas. Does that motivate you even more knowing that you're this close and maybe you'd be sitting where he is right now? Uh, you know, he had, he had a promoter behind him. I fought on his promoter show. So it's, it's one of those things, if you have a, 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 a close fight on, a, you know, a, like, a, the opponent, like a opponent, we all know in boxing, it's going to go the, uh, the other way. But... I'm happy that he's doing so well because it proves how good I and I am. But I never had a promoter behind behind me, and it proves why Floyd and Leonard signed signed me because they believe that I could be in these big fights. So I'm happy that he's gone on to do his stuff. Like so, I'm, I'm yeah. I wouldn't say I'm proud of him because we ain't friends, right. but I'm happy for him that he's winning. He's winning these fights, and I win this fight. I'm gonna be up there as well. How frustrating was it for you at that time, knowing that you know maybe your talent 
um, wasn't all that mattered and things outside of the ring like that, promoted that kind of thing, um, played as big if not a bigger role. And how confident are you now that they rectified that situation now that you signed with Floyd and that now you let your fist be able to, to carry you as far as your talent will, will allow you? You know, like boxing and politics, it's, it's, part, of, it's part of the sport. So, you know, that's why, I mean, that's, that's why maybe I train so hard because I know I've never been given no favors, I've never had no luck. Everything that I've achieved, I achieved it through working hard. So, um, you know, it's great to have a promoter behind me, but it doesn't mean that I have to stop working hard. You know, um, I win this fight in two days' time, then, you know, it just gets harder because I trained hard to get onto the money team. Right. And then now I have a fight, I have to step up my game again. I win this fight, I have to step up my game again because I want to fight these champ champions. I want these big fights. So you always have to push yourself. So I'm, I'm happy to do that because I'm living out a boyhood dream where I was five years old in London watching Mike Tyson. And, you know, I was like, I'm not to be part of this. And I'm part of this. I'm opening up, you know, the biggest fight is going to break. The pay-per-view re records is breaking records. And I'm part of it. Like, I, I started from the bottom. You know when they say you start from the bottom? I started from the bottom with no promoter, just working hard, just going abroad and winning fights. So anything's possible. Now you sparred with Floyd. Did he give you any feedback uh, when you got done with him? Um, one thing that Floyd said, like all oh, we small, I signed you because you're a good fighter, you know. So he, so he's named some fighters, some superstar boxers that he believes I can beat. So um, he's told me fights he wants to make. So I just have to go out there and beat on Cano. The issue is, like he's fought for the world title. So he's 23 years old, but he's experienced. I'm 23 years old, but he's fought two boxing legends and a two weight world champ. So he's been in those big fights. So Floyd and Leonard believe that I can be in those big fights and believe that I could be a world champ. So I have to go out there and show them that their belief is true. So they've given me the perfect opponent. Like a lot of folks are saying, no, oh, he's a hard, he's a hard fight. I don't want no easy fight. It's about four year fight. I've been a pro for 10 years. Right. I want the hard fights. That's what will bring the best out of me. Right. If you if you walk into a fight like, ah, oh, it's gonna be too easy, you ain't motivated, right? So I need to be motivated. That's that's shown in my like career. I need the big fights to get my motivation. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a big stage. I love it. Now knowing you get to spar with, with someone like Floyd, the best in the world, does that give you confidence that anyone you face, you know you sparred someone better than them? Exactly, like to, to get in the ring with Floyd alone, it's to me it's momental. Because you're like, wow, I'm in the ring with the, the best in the world, one of the greatest ever. Like, so that's a mental thing already. Like, and I, I've watched them beat up a lot of the sparring guys. So when I first went in there, I was like, I hope, I hope that don't happen to me. So I'm, um, you know, um, I just had to put in the work, and yeah, from when I can. I'm getting like getting the ring with two world champs, E.J. Smith and Floyd. I'm not worried about my opponent, so yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to the fight. And then this last question: I, I know you expect to win, but you're going to be here by far. Your your biggest audience ever. You're opening up the pay per view, millions of people watching. What do you hope that they're going to see from Ashley Theophane on Saturday night? Uh, well, most importantly, it's about getting the win. But um, it's going to be a great fight because, as he said on the poll, the poll the other day, you know, I spoke about my journey, starting from the bottom, inspiring, you know, the kids. If you have a dream, to fulfill your dream. And he just said he's going to let his fist talk. So he's coming to win. He ain't coming here to lose. He he's coming here to win. But I'm coming here to win as well because he's already fought for the world title twice. Mm. I haven't fought for no world title. I want to win a world title. Like, it might be a, a dream, but it's, you know, this dream has got me so far. It's got, it's got me signed to, to me with a promotion. So um, it's going to be a great fight. I'm in great shape. My weight at some point. I've been sparring with two of the best in the world. Um, yeah, like if he believes I'm going to be part of his wins or KOs, like I'm winning at all costs. At all, costs. all right, Ashley, we appreciate it. Best of luck to you Saturday night. Thank you Thanks. very much.